for a long time, so be easy on me here. But uh, I'm getting ready to do some trips. I just got back from one and I'm on another one. And I figured I'd show off my hammock setup here. Um, I did not have the underquilt on the trip I was just on because the lows were only like around 70. But I'm planning on using the underquilt on this next trip because it's going to get down to like 50 at night. 50, low 50s, so I'll take this. This is like a 40 degree underquilt, so it should be way enough. But we'll start at this end. Uh, I use Atlas straps from Eno. There's a lot lighter kind of suspensions, but these are simple to use. And please don't mind this setup that's stretched way out because these are the only two trees I had available to me right now. And they're onto my loops of a carabiner. It's just a piece of 550 cord I used as a ridge line. I will probably replace this with something better eventually, but it works for now. Then here we have the hammock itself, which is my castaway hammock. Just a parachute style hammock. Uh, again, I might upgrade at some point, but this has been working good for a couple of years now, so I figure I'm gonna stick with it till something happens to it. Then we have this. Which is the Wise Out Outfitters Flare Underquilt. It's a synthetic underquilt, 40 degrees. Uh, it's pretty light for synthetic. I think it only weighs about two, just a shade over two pounds. I'll have to look that up and I'll put it underneath. But uh, yeah, I just got this over the winter and I haven't really trusted it out too much yet. So we're going to try it. And then the whole thing here I have this, which is the Outdoor Vitals Bug Net just pulls over uh, it is light it's supposed to double as an underquilt protector because it's kind of solid on the bottom where you can flip it around so we'll cinch her up here and it just pulls over and then cinches up with this from the inside which is kind of an issue uh, I'll get to that that's kind of the one downside I don't like about that button because uh, the idea is you're just supposed to pull it up over you and cinch it down, but it's a 10 foot hammock and I'm six foot tall and I have a real hard time reaching all the way up here. I usually end up with it like right about here and then it has a little bit of an opening. I can't get it cinched quite so it'll have a little bit of an opening there. Now, I used it this weekend without the underquilt and I didn't have any issues. I didn't have any bugs crawling on me, so... It tends to work uh, but again that's at your head end kind of rather have it at the foot end maybe I could stuff it with my blanket in there but um, and this under quilt just connects right up here you can see it was shock cord to my suspension system here and that's about it that's my sleeping in the woods uh, right now I'm trying to get it all kind of set up here. I hung, didn't have my tarp hung yet. But just trying to see, I was trying to see if this bug nut will work with this particular under quilt. So I think it will. I'm going to try it out again this weekend because the lay I had in my hammock last weekend, the trees were way close together and just was not a good situation. I'll throw a photo up of the setup. But that was not ideal, and I set up in the rain, and it just it wasn't good. So I had struggled kind of with this bug net, but again, I had a less than stellar angle I was hanging out with it. So, and I had to move around with the I had the dog with me. So I had my little dog in the hammock with me too, which doesn't help. But this is about as far as these atlas traps will stretch. These trees are about four or five foot too far apart really uh, I had the opposite problem last weekend where they were like two or three foot too close together because I was all the way up on the top of both straps and my tarp barely fit in there so all right guys well there's a quick look at my hammock setup this year I'm gonna be playing with this all summer but this is pretty much it going forward uh, till fall probably I doubt I will add anything to it I'm just gonna try and roll with it if this bug net proves to be really horrible, then 
uh, when I get my next hammock, I might just get one with one included. So, all right. I will talk to you all later. I hope you all have a good afternoon. And go on, get outside. It's beautiful out. Time of year to be out there. All right, guys, later. Make a quick edit this in here, but I forgot my top quote in that whole setup. <laughs> So this is what I'm using as a talk belt. Snug packs, jungle blanket. This is my summer top quilt. Again, it's synthetic. Pretty small, really. It's not huge. Uh, the synthetic stuff is kind of bulky, but it's not heavy. This comes in at 25 ounces. So less than two pounds. One pound nine ounces on that. So there's everything together packed up. <laughs> So that's everything for my entire sleep system. All right, guys. Just wanted to clarify that because I'm sure that would be a question. So you guys have a good afternoon, evening, morning, whatever time you're watching this. And I'll talk to you all later. Thanks.